Hello, World Tank Blitters, it's Littlefinger. Hey, I've got a did I win or did I lose battle sent in by Mirage Mike in the Annihilator top tier. And this gives me a wonderful opportunity as the game unfolds to talk about his website. Uh, if you don't know Mirage Mike, you really should. Uh, he runs one of the best Blitz websites out there for tracking statistics and then on top of that he has got leagues and challenges uh, which add a different flair to the game as his cannon gets knocked out and he can't move it having to repair it there bounce from the LTTB but blitz tank stats.com link is below in the description and basically you use your blitz login username and password and it then starts tracking all of your statistics uh, you can for example see how you compare to other people that are being tracked on the website to see if uh, you know, how close you are to getting those masteries with how much experience points are needed uh, that's something that I have not been able to find anywhere else. Um, there's also a mastery section which highlights every tank that you have mastered and those that you have not, which, um, you know, that's one of my goals is to master every single tank out there. So, uh, you know, I check that out. Um, there's a page for all of your medals broken down by tank. Um, there's just so much data that he is uh, showing on the site. As he gets a bounce there from the ARL, rams him and uh, finishes him off. And another bounce there from the KV-1S. Um, surprising that he did more ram damage to the KV-1S than uh, he took in return. I was a little bit surprised about that. But the very unique thing about BlitzTankStats.com is the challenges. Uh, you can sign up for free for challenges. And you do things like um, the most amount of kills in a certain number of battles or the most damage over a certain number of battles. And I think it really adds a different perspective. Um, you guys, I'm sure, are familiar with it now with the strength meter that uh, it really changes your mindset on, on how you play the game. And if you are too aggressive early on, uh, you probably notice that you're scores aren't as good as if you can manage to hang on till the end here like we're seeing in this game so um trying to make a decision on on who to go for and that m36 has got some pretty trollish armor on it 1700 damage done 1100 blocked already it's a four on two situation and it's going to be i'll uh say right now is going to be a four on one so hit the pause button go down below and uh let me know if you think mirage mike pulls this off or not and uh, there you have it four on one and look at the health of all of these tanks he's just gonna rush in here he knew that Annihilator was on the reload, so takes him out, backs up to the ARL for cover. While he's reloading. Not quite ready to aim there. Probably should have stayed in cover just a second longer. Was hoping, I guess, that the Yo would pull back out and he could finish him off with a clip. And that's what makes the Annihilator so deadly, is that each of these three shots are very accurate. As the M36, yes, he's pulled out too far, taking him out. Now the Churchill is going to be really slow. Is he going to be able to come around? And this is the thing. I mean, if these guys had all pushed at the same time, there's absolutely no way he survives this. But... Finishing off the Churchill 1v1. And a uh, great move here to, to get down out of the line of fire while he's reloading. And now it looks like he can use this uh, 
center block here in the middle as protection. Track shot, all oh, three shots go, 3,500 damage. Um, so yeah, the turbo engine boost is available, so he's gonna push that to keep away and reload and finish this off for a very nice one versus four comeback. So again, guys, um, if you don't know Mirage Mike, please go visit his website at blitztankstats.com. 3,500 damage, 66,000 credits, and that's only a level one. Um, we all know how good the Annihilator is um, and how much fun it is to play and how much has ruined the game for everyone that's not in one. But uh, anyway, guys, we are proceeding on. We're having fun, and of course, we're getting educated, not fingered. Little finger out.